There's no one answer to, to how you change the hood or change the, the, the reality of what goes on. But what you gotta think about is when you don't have resources, you in survival mode. You know, so being in survival mode automatically rules out a lot of things because you don't care about morality because you don't experience morality. You experience, you know, the need to survive. You don't experience, you know, fairness. You don't experience planning for the future. You just experience my ribs touching. You know what I mean? And it's better me than you. And you know, it's a survival instinct that kick in. So I think once you get out of the survival mode, your, your morals come back closer to, to your daily decision making. You start thinking about what's right and what do I believe in? But until you get out of survival mode, you ain't got time to be worrying about right and wrong. You worrying about bottom line, you know what I mean? By any means necessary. So I think that economics is the answer. Empowering people economically is how you really, really impact but I don't know if it's about dropping a bag of money in the hood. I think it's about impacting culture in a way that, you know, the mentality changes. And then also, you know, the, the institutions that exist, it's just a prison institution, really. It's like a pipeline of jail. It, it, ain't, it ain't no, no, no constructive institutions, for real, that meets you ground level. It's just like, if you fuck up, we, gonna, we got somewhere to put you, so it's like a fear based preventative approach than like some love and like we know y'all going through a struggle and we know y'all could use an art center or a, you know what I mean a studio compound or entrepreneurial space it's like whatever going on if you can't figure it out we're gonna lock you up bro so whatever it is yes yeah, on y'all I think like you get people out of survival mode they start thinking different I did you know when I when I figured out you know, how to, how to get myself out of the situation. My approach to life and people was different. I wasn't so angry, I didn't have my guard up. I wasn't so aggressive, I wasn't so, you know, expecting, if you ain't helping me, fuck you. It wasn't, that wasn't the mentality no more. And I can't blame nobody, you know what I mean? That's thinking about how they gonna pay their rent or like going through not having food at the house, being young and having to go outside to hustle for, for to feed themselves with school clothes, that's gonna change people, that's gonna make you feel away. And you can't fault them, you just gotta kinda empathize with the, with the scenario and understand you put a, a person in, in survival mode, they gonna survive by any means. Um, I, I couldn't make a blanket statement to just the young people doing dirt. I don't think that's honest, you know what I mean? It's context for everything. Nothing happens in a vacuum, you know? But I would say that, you know what I mean? You're gonna lay in the bed you make. You're not gonna get away with nothing in terms of the energy. You know what I mean? You might beat the, the camera or the police. They might not catch you for what you're doing, but the energy is always gonna return to you. So when you when you just living in this in this cycle of being negative all day and just putting out negativity and, and that's the only energy you're putting out, it's gonna return to you in different form than you put it out in. So I would just say, you know, master your energy. Do your best to master your energy and your and what you put out, you know, and um, unless that's what you want, you know, because you you entitled to whatever you want to create, whatever experience you want to create for yourself. But if you're tired of that shit, adjust the energy. You know what I mean? As best you can, adjust adjust what you wake up thinking and what you say, and then lastly, what you do. And that's not an easy thing to do because it's it's such a pressure. In, the, in, the, in these areas to just go by the, the way things are. But, you know, it's a lot of examples that you could look up to as young kids in the streets. You could look up to a, you know, a Kendrick Lamar. Not the words, forget what he's saying, just where he came from. I seen him, you could, you could YouTube him freestyling the Nicholson Garden Projects. You could look up to a Nip Hustle. You know, you could look up to a YG, you know what I mean? To a a top dog, you know what I mean? To, to a, any one of these guys that came from this, this, this hopelessness and, and, you know, wiggled their way through it. You know what I mean? And you can reverse engineer what they did. You know, look at the steps, what, what, what happened, you know? So I would say that.